Let's talk about energy. So what happens to this ball's energy level as I lift it upward? It increases, right? As I do more and more work to lift it higher and higher against the pull of gravity, I am increasing this ball's gravitational potential energy. So what happens to all that energy when I let go? As it swings down, its speed gets faster and faster. Now it has energy of motion or kinetic energy. The faster it swings, the more kinetic energy it has. Now there's one more cool thing I want to show you about energy. I've lifted the ball way up here, which means I've given it a huge amount of potential energy. So what's going to happen to the dummy's face when I let go of the ball? Tell you what, you deserve a break. I'm going to be the crash test dummy. So why didn't the ball hit my face? The answer lies in one of the most important principles in all of science, the law of conservation of energy, which says energy can't be created or destroyed. It can do two things, both starting with a T. It can be transferred or transformed, but the total amount of energy stays the same. So what happened in this case? Well, we had energy of motion. And whenever you have motion, you have friction. Try this. All right, that motion energy is now creating some friction, and that friction is transformed into heat energy. Well, in our rope and ball system, as it was moving, there was a lot of friction, and that friction was transformed into heat energy. Now we had a little less kinetic energy in the swing, and so it didn't make it up enough to hit my face. So what does this have to do with car crashes? The law of conservation of energy governs collisions between all objects. And car collisions can have huge amounts of energy. So if energy can't be created or destroyed, where does it all go during a crash? The kinetic energy of a moving car has to be transferred or transformed during a crash. It can be transferred to other types of kinetic energy, like crunching energy or spinning energy, or transformed into sound, light, or heat. In a crash-worthy car, Engineers have designed the car in order to manage that crash energy to keep it away from the occupants.